Are we uh, recording? I know I did a video there and I didn't seem to uh, get through. But um, anyway, these people are are low lives uh, of the highest degree of low lives. These people are very stupid and ignorant. You know, especially Dirk Dickwad. He thinks he's so smart, but he's really not. He's a fucking mentally retarded jerk-off loser who is a wannabe broadcaster or whatever the fuck he thinks he is. And as I said before in my prior videos, if it wasn't for the internet, you would never hear of these people. But most importantly, the guy's a stalker. And he admitted to me and told me that he was a stalker, that he was going to mess with me, that he was going to continue to harass me, which he, 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 this guy doesn't even phase me. It's just that this guy is such a fucking idiot and such a fucking moron and such a retard that, you know, every once in a while, I got to straighten out people like him because these people are just retarded. They're wannabes. They're not... I mean, if it wasn't for the internet, they would have nothing. They have a platform now because of the internet. And you would never hear from these people. You know what these people would be if it wasn't for the, the, the internet and being able to do videos and all that stupid shit and have a face crap account and all that nonsense? You know what they'd be? Video game players playing Pac-Man all fucking day long. And smoking fucking vaping or smoking cigars. Because these people are useless. As a generation, this is the worst generation. This this jerk off low life represents a generation of losers that are lazy, shitless, don't want to fucking work, don't want to roll their sleeves up, can't change a fucking tire, can't fucking balance a checking account. These people are just retarded losers. And when I get back on the air, as I said in my prior video, it's going to be all over for jerk-offs like Dirt, Dickwad, Low Life, Billy, Douchebag, Asswipe, Redneck. All these fucking jerk-offs. It's going to be all over. The Jared and Slimebag show. All these people, I'm going to take away their fans. I'm going to take away whatever you call these people. Whether they're fans or they... They actually waste their time listening to a bunch of non-talented fucking assholes who can't make anyone laugh, who can't entertain anybody. I mean, this is the uh, the slime bag show, you know, and uh, and the Dirk Dickwad show. They, they 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 have the same, you know, stupid, retarded, whatever. The, I don't even call it a show. I call it an abomination. But this is how they sound. <laughs> <laughs> bunch of fucking dorks, a bunch of fucking retards, you know, but, uh, but basically this video, uh, I've already criticized them in my first video, bravo, it was a fucking amazing, amazing job I did, uh, I mean, from a guy who has 50 years in radio communication, who has talked all over the world on a radio transmitter, who can set up a station in minutes in an emergency situation in the United States where I'm duly authorized by the Federal Communications Commission. And plus I've done a four-year Crazy Joe show on other different networks. I've interviewed celebrities, uh, you know, from the Howard Stern show and from uh, musical guests from uh, the Vanilla Fudge and other uh, local bands throughout Orange County, California that actually have big followings. And I interviewed Levin and Levi from the Amish Mafia uh, who had over a million viewers on the Discover Channel. Uh, I'm sort of like a celebrity interviewer and show guy. It's just that I stopped doing it for a while. But I don't have to, to prove myself to a bunch of jerk-off douchebag assholes on, on UCOC. Um... Uh, but what happens is I have so much pride and so much honor in what I've accomplished in the years of doing this that these people are just a bunch of fucking wannabe dirtbag losers that have nothing to claim. They're, they're jealous of the fact 
that I'm better than them, that I'm a New Yorker because they know they're a bunch of low-life fucking redneck hillbillies from loser states. And uh, the fact of the matter is that um, I'm a winner. And they have not seen anything yet. When the show comes on, the show shows, okay, it's game over. I'm going to take away whatever listener they have. I'm going to, they're going to come to me. They're going to know the difference, even if they're retarded. The fans, I mean, of them, they're going to know what a real show sounds like. And it's not going to be like this. <laughs> you know, like they do. But the main focus of this video is to, is to, um, that Dirk, dirtbag jerk off said to me that he was going to continue to harass me. He was going to continue to stick his nose in my business. That's how I unfortunately met this fucking low life retard. And he's going to continue to stalk me and try to bother me and stuff. But you know what? I got his number and I'm just waiting for the opportunity to block this asswipe, block Billy douchebag asswipe painter. And I think those are the only two that are on my list. I've already deleted seven to eight people on the Crazy Joe Show page. So uh, those two are next. Uh, regardless, because YouTube and the Crazy Joe Show page are the only social media pages I have, and they talk a lot of stupid shit, but like I said, I got all the time in the world, don't make a mistake, and I'll capitalize on it, and I'll block their ass. So, douchebags, your time, you're on borrowed time. Your time is very limited, and Joe's going to get you, and we're going to fucking block you, and get rid of you once and for all, because you're a bunch of low lives. You stick your fucking nose in my business. Go fuck yourselves. You're a bunch of fucking losers and retards. And um, obviously, I read space in the mind of dirt, dirtbag, douchebag. He is definitely a stalker. And because uh, he's got no life, he's got nothing going on. Uh, you know, he's probably in his mama's basement. Because he's young enough to live with his mommy and daddy. And uh, does his retarded videos on his uh, page. And talks to other retards just like him. You know, retards love their own kind. And uh, that's what these people are. You can't describe them any other way. It's a bunch of mentally retarded. Because this generation, X, whatever you want to call it, of liberalism and leftism and all this kind of bullshit these people are the lowest of the low and let me tell you something as a new yorker and as a person that come from another era where men were men and women knew their place these people are the biggest losers you will ever come across they know nothing about life they're ignorant stupid fucking jerk offs who like to hear themselves talk shit like dirt dirt bag loser he is the most ignorant motherfucker and he doesn't fool me because he's a phony he's a fucking retard doesn't know what the fuck he, he talks about he tries to come off that he's so smart in college or whatever and the guy I could tell is a low-life ignorant motherfucker who still lives with his parents how are you gonna listen to a guy who lives with his parents who lives in a flooded basement with a with a life preserver on because his basement is flooded because that's the only place that his mommy and daddy will let him stay in the basement. And that's where he belongs, in the basement, playing video games all day and being on a computer and interfering with other people's fucking business because he's a fucking asswipe that likes to stick his nose where it don't fucking belong. He's a piece of shit. And these other guys, you know who decided to fuck with me because of Matt's show are a bunch of fucking lowlifes just as well.